This morning, the war in Gaza continues. It's now six months in. Yeah, but a hunger strike by USF students calling for change ended with a new mission. 10 Tampa Bay's Jenny Dean joining us live from USF with more on what they plan to do next. Jenny, good morning. Yeah, good morning, Jamison and Caitlin. Tough day for these, uh, tough weekend for these students, but looking ahead, tomorrow's going to be a big day for them because they are planning to speak to the Student Government Senate to help get them to support their movement. What they want is they want the school board to create a coalition of students and help them be more transparent about the university's investments. So the hunger strike itself, it lasted about two weeks, started back in March with students demanding the university stop investing in companies that they say support Israel. Now this went on for two weeks with no progress, so the students had to stop. The university telling them they do not select individual stocks or companies for investment. The only direct answer they ever gave us was that they don't have control over their endowment money because it's handled by a third party. Again, those students are going to appeal to the school board to publicize their investments. And what they really want is at that meeting tomorrow at 6 p.m. with the Student uh, Government Senate to try and help them to get this uh, board created and this student created. But in the last couple of days, I will tell you, though, that we did reach out to USF leaders and they told us over the weekend that even if a resolution does pass that it would be non-binding and it would not require the university to even take any action. Jameson? Yeah, Jenny, you mentioned this went on for two weeks. How are the students doing that took part in that hunger strike? Yeah, you can imagine there were some health issues when we talked to the students this weekend. They had dealt with quite a few issues like weight loss, um, some dizziness. One of them actually fell down and hit his head, had to be taken to the hospital. They say they had trouble concentrating, but they say everything that they went through, though, was nothing compared to what they say they are seeing in Gaza. So for them, it was worth it and they are not done. They are continuing their fight for more transparency from the university. And again, that meeting is Tuesday. Live at USF, Jenny Dean, 10 Tampa Bay. Jenny, thank you. And staying on that 